Hey, it's Courtney Sullivan and welcome back to the Farmhouse Kitchen. So today I am making a Carob Celebration Cake, which is basically the cake that I had in my hands when I first really talked to my future husband at the time when I was 19. I was in Woodstock selling cake and the cafe didn't have a check for me and I wasn't going to leave a consumable product with these folks without payment or without an invoice, so I decided to take my product back home with me and I wandered into a bead store and there was my husband working as the manager and he was hungry and after he grilled me about all the ingredients he offered to buy a couple slices so I could have some gas money to get home. So that's basically how our whole scene here started and I was making this cake today so I'll just tell you how to make it. So I'm doing my normal thing so as you can see I already have the batter mixed up. I have some cake like little cupcakes for the kids in the oven already. But basically, here's the recipe. It's really simple. And so I'm going to make off a mix so that after the kids eat it and they say, oh, that was so good, can you make it again? I don't have to make it. They can make it by taking the mix down off the shelf and making it themselves. So it's two cups of unbleached organic white flour, three quarters of a cup of carrot powder. And why I use carrot powder is because it doesn't have any caffeine in it and it has a lot of calcium. And it is something I don't eat a ton of because it can, um, you know, block nutrient absorption in the body. So I don't use a ton of it. But it's nice for, it's kind of like a 50-50 food. You don't want to eat it all the time. And then I have some Dandy Blend, which is a herbal coffee substitute. So I like to give it, that gives it a richer chocolatey taste. So I just add two tablespoons of that. And then your baking soda. It is a tablespoon of baking soda goes in there. And you just want to, as you're scooping it out, push out any lumps that you see in your baking soda because nobody likes to bite into a piece of cake that has a chunk of baking soda in there. So that goes in there. And then a tablespoon of baking powder is our next ingredient that we add. And there are my cupcakes. Will you take them out of the oven? <laughs> get one of my helpers to get those out of the oven. And that was a little on the shy side, so I'll top that off. This is getting down there. I have some other ones in the pantry. That's one of my tips, is that you should definitely always keep some extra baking powder on hand more than you think. And so then this is all set to go. And you just add a little top to your mix and your recipe card with the label of what it is and then written on the back is the extra steps that the people need to make which is adding the wet ingredients. So for this cake, it's one of the most decadent cakes that we make. So it has raw honey and it has a cup of raw honey. You can go a little bit lighter, but if you do, you're gonna have to supplement with some other liquid. Today I chose to only put a cup of raw honey in my doubled batch because we're all snowed in in this frozen tundra that we're at. So I did half and half milk and honey. You can be creative. And the key to this recipe, what gives it this really light and fluffy, is that there's vinegar, which reacts with the baking soda, which makes a very light and fluffy carob cake, or dark forest cake, whatever you wanna call it. And it does have some vanilla in it, so just a lot of flavor bouquets going on. And then you mix it all up into this lovely batter. And because I have the convection oven going on, I didn't have enough space for everything in there, so I decided to make this little video for you to come along and farmhouse kitchen and just check out how simple it can be to whip up something and the double timing thing with making up a mix when you're making up a cake I mean you already have the mess out anyway you already have all those ingredients you always have everything out anyway so making another batch up and keeping it in a mason jar is a great way to have someone else thank you help you make the cake usually you have to have you know the carrot and the stick right like you have to give them something to make them want to spend their time in the kitchen doing that instead of doing something else they'd rather be doing. So I am just making up this little bunt cake. Pop that in the oven. And now we have these really nice little muffins that my daughter calls cakeies. And so she'll be really happy to wake up from her nap and have a cakey. So thanks for joining us in the farmhouse kitchen. We look forward to seeing you again soon and cooking with your children in the kitchen. Peace.